To think, the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? <sighs> she is quite difficult. That smell. Come on, no fair. Hey, can I snag a bite? Meanie. Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking, even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the Hacker of Justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Uh... So, Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? <sighs> you should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Futaba-chan sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. What should we do? Uh, that ain't gonna fly. First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. We do have the time, thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach! There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea! I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else, depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this? Why me? Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. 
thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Mejed was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. be okay. I'm worried about how things will be from now on. Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. I believe I told you we would spare no expense in cooperating with you. Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down, otherwise you may get swept off your feet. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. What is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. <laughs> Let's 
get started, shall we? What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. Yes, you must be well-versed in speaking when you are student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. Uh, let's try a different topic. How about the weather? I heard that this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. Dunno, I haven't been out. Oh, right. Makoto's getting overwhelmed. Th this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Oh, superb. Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but... I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. My children! What have you done to my children? They appear to be quite shoddily made. They're from Phoenix Ranger's Neo Feather Man! No! Yellow and pink's heads! And red's been hacked to bits! This is all Inari's fault! Inari? You know, Inari Sushi, the tofu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? Inari. Oh, they were in the perfect poses, too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. Uh, you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. Uh, how dare you say that to me, of all people? Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. Yeah. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Hmm? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes! She hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! Well, I guess in that case... I've left Tamara to An and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so he'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? I think it would be best if you didn't. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me. But I guess we'll see what they can do. Hmm. You seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! Sorry, 
were late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. Uh, shut it! Hey, where's Futaba? You have done well in coming here. <laughs> Shit freaked me out! Oh, hey, you Futaba? Yep, welcome. Why are you wearing that? Habit. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh. Looks like today is going to be another noisy day. For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. Wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do you? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yep, I'm not getting married anytime soon. Can we please talk about something else? You know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is, but if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm, I'm relieved too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? How about we have her try helping around the cafe? That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. Beep! Nope, nope, nope! Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode! You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. <laughs> I'd be mad if you weren't. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, you're all gonna pay for this someday. You want me to let Futaba help out around the shop? But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? This isn't the same as taking care of a cat, you know. D don't worry. I did graduate middle school last year. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. Well, in that case, uh, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? <coughs> hey, are you all right? The usual boss, extra strong. It's your thing. 
Keep an eye on Futaba for me. Wee oui, wee! Oui. <laughs> she a new part timer? Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, boss? It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you'd want someone younger sometimes. It's like the Guatemala Peaberry coffee. Its acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring in the coffee before it gets cold. <gasps> Yo, here's your coffee. When in the world did she... Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? And... And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. And here is your coffee, sir. Oh, thanks. Did you see? I did my job right! Huh, turns out this is pretty easy. <laughs> to think Futaba would go out and talk to a customer herself. Mask aside, I'm impressed. Looks like people really can change. Sojiro, want me to bring coffee to more customers? N mask off first. Ugh, I'll think about it. Today's the fourth day already. We getting a little better at dealing with other people? Uh, I don't know. Can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Well, let's just say you've made some progress for now. No! Oh, stop it! You're gonna blow my cheeks off! Man, those girls are late. Who do they think they are making us wait like this? Hello. Please excuse us. Apologies for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure which to choose. Looking? Looking at what? A swimsuit, of course. For Futaba-chan. A swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay. Let's have you try it on right now, then. No, 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 now? <laughs> you can't go to the beach if you don't have a good-fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. Uh, but, um, uh... You know what'll happen if you try and look, right? Oh, wow, it's perfect. I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy on. I know, right? There we go. It's on. What the? This barely covers anything. That's normal for a swimsuit. 
And now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Yeah. Push. Are you supposed to move them with that much force? You gotta put some oomph into this stuff. <laughs> there, good to go. Whoa, even I'm impressed. I wonder what they're doing up there. They're having her try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? Futaba in his swimsuit, hmm? I suspect that would make a great painting. Perhaps we should ask Makoto about it. Me? I humbly request you do so as well. Hell no! You guys are such children. What's with all the ruckus upstairs? Something about a swimsuit? Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon, so they're trying some swimsuits out. Futaba's going to the beach. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. Well then, it seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. All flattery aside, I think it looks really great. Now you just gotta get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. Right. She might be some trouble, but I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. So what should we do today? Let's see... Wanna eat together? You know, like how we had Hot Pot that one time. That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strengthen our intra-squad friendships. I... I can do that! Okay, I'll take a cola and an omelette with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. I'd like the same. No, but this is for Futaba's sake. <sighs> Fine. You owe me, got it? I want the same. Extra large. Ah, uh, I ate loads! Damn, Futaba, I'm impressed! Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I much prefer that to women who don't eat a lot. You'd better not be hitting on me. How rude. Sojiro, help me! Will you stop that? So does this mean her training's going good? Let's go with that then. Hey, let me make you guys some after meal coffee. It's on me. Thank you. I want iced cocoa! You can't handle bitter stuff either, right? Iced cocoa sound good? Yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a lunch this lively. Mm -hmm. It's lots of fun. Looks like we know when we'll actually finish up now. The beach is finally within reach. Okay. I'll just add this. Okay. Thank you. 
Want anything, Futaba? Orange juice. 100% natural. That reminds me. You're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun and make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, but he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Fireworks, huh? Hello. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Wait, aren't you... I'm Akechi. Oh, yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai san recommended it so strongly to me. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh, no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakaba Ishiki's. What'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently, my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. Mm. Ah, yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're... Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. <laughs> What's the matter? You're popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> Thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. Hmm. This is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. <laughs> Thank you. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. Well, I think I found my go-to cafe. I went by myself. I just ran into Mona on the way back. I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Hold on, Futaba. I haven't even put up my cigarette yet. <laughs> Come on! Don't get the smoke on me! Super double move! Whee! Will you listen to... <laughs> hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. Dang! I made a huge one! Sojiro, look! Look! Right. It's just 
Be careful, okay? Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! No! no! <laughs> Futaba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. Good. As long as you understand. I'll be counting on you. Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be all right? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Uh, right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. <laughs> have fun, but be careful, you two. Lot of people here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch, too? I'll go get some stuff for us, then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. <laughs> Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But, Lady On, can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. Get how amazing we are. 
We risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality, too? We're special, man. Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. An and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey, how do we get Lady An to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, we gotta steal... you know what? That's our job in the metaverse! What we're gonna steal in reality... our girls' hearts! I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well, let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. Hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind! just looks kind of bland to me. Come on, it ain't over yet. I'm going for a miracle comeback. Hmm. Did someone follow us here? Something tells me we're being watched. Really? Oh. You think one of those girls changed her mind? OMG, it's the golden boy himself! <gasps> and he's already got his own little entourage. <laughs> we really did teach him right, didn't we? You? Oh, no. What are you guys doing here? <laughs> Sometimes we just gotta get out of the city, forget the nightlife, breathe fresh air, enjoy some eye candy. We thought we lost our protege. Who would have guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate? Oh, what's with the look? Don't believe in fate? Or did you really not have fun last time? You gonna tell us you saw yourself in all that chiffon and felt nothing? Uh, I don't think I, I felt what you guys were hoping. Oh, honey, I get it. Everyone's nervous when they first start out. But trust me, you'll make their jaws drop. <laughs> Just an hour at the vanity, three hours at the boutique, and we can just pick up where we left off last time. So, are you ready to steal some hearts? Uh, we gotta go, sorry! Was it something I said? Oh, what a tragedy. Another starlet slips through our fingers. Uh, no, no more makeovers. <sighs> By the way, where's Yusuke? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Uh, what are you doing with those lobsters? While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time An entered my gaze. Good for you. We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. How about you come for a nice cruise on our boat? There's going to be a party, too. Tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming along. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Huh, so, you were serious about being here with friends. 
That's what we've been saying from the start. Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them? It's far more interesting than anything involving you two. What was that? Hey, let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. <sighs> what creeps? Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. What do you mean? If things had gone bad, you would have just sent them to the hospital. Uh, <laughs> never mind. It's nothing. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Ooh, are those lobsters? One in each hand! I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? Enough of your vile postulations. These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. We did tons of stuff today. All in all, I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd, too. So it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba! We're going home! Stop standing around and help us! You know, all this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. It'd be a repeat of that. Ah. <sighs> I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts. But I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, the bug. So why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba... You didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You were our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. 
It made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves... I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure. But right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's codename? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case... Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her Goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's codename? That's you. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great. And Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored Phantom Thieves would be so close. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a Metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate. Should we get going then? Yep, let's go home. Yes. The incident with Medjet seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash, whether they're connected to us or not. out of the blue, but, uh, like, could we all meet up at LeBlanc tomorrow? Ah, oh, sweet! That worried tone. 
Could he still have summer vacation homework left to do? Is that Morgana? Whoa, how did he know? I actually called it. Anyway, I I've already hit up Makoto and the others. I'll be counting on you to get me through this tomorrow. You gotta be kidding. Might as well get some sleep while we can. to be human I should be if we get rid of the distortion in the depths of mementos I'm sure I'm sure it'll all be fine sorry did I wake you up oh um my sunburns were hurting and that woke me up I was absorbing all the sunlight because I'm black don't you get it it's all natural by the way, it's not like I'm bothered by this or anything, but hypothetically speaking, okay? What would you do if I turned out to be some weird... thing? I'd be bothered by it! If what I saw from earlier is true, is it okay for me to stay with the Phantom Thieves? And even if I'm with the team, I'm useless at the moment. It's nothing. Well, I've gotten pretty used to my life as a cat, too. And to be frank, this storage room isn't bad either. Then again, I can't wait to turn back to being a human so I can move out. Maybe I'll live a life of luxury in a suite on the highest floor. Hmm. But rather than becoming some weird thing, maybe staying as a cat isn't so bad either. You and me made a deal, yeah? That means I can stay here. Isn't that right? Thought so. Don't forget what you just said, okay? All right. Come on. Let's hurry up and get to sleep. Night. It'll be fine, right? Oh, I'm done. As for me, I'm done for. Talk about a cliched way to end your summer vacation. I can't believe you hadn't even touched your homework until last night. Well, everyone's free to spend their time as they choose. I guess some people just can't help themselves. I'm sorry. Come on, I think he's learned his lesson. More importantly, why don't you folks take a break? Boss! Oh, you're a lifesaver. I'm gonna go pick up some groceries. Mind the shop for a bit. The sports club has aggressively applied kinesthesiology to the team's practices. By incorporating their lab's findings on human efficiency into the training regimen, they have developed a... Oh, that reminds me. Isn't there a female athlete from our own school who's made the news? An athlete? Oh, do you mean the one in gymnastics? Yeah, her! The one everyone's saying is super cute. Oh yeah, Yoshizawa, right? Wasn't she gonna be in the summer meet? Or is that already over? Ah, about that... Makoto? Well, I just happened to overhear a couple teachers discussing it when I was heading to school the other day. Yoshizawa-san's results in the meet? They weren't exactly stellar. I see. There seemed to have been a great many people expecting her success there. It's gotta be tough for her. Yeah. Ain't there one more meet left this year in gymnastics, though? Shit must be rough right now. But if she can nail that one... Who cares what anybody at school says? Oh, that also reminds me. So, I just so happened to bump into Mishima-kun before summer vacation started. And? He seemed really mad. 
I asked him what was wrong, and he showed me some posts on an underground site about our school. It pretty much said the school's planning to abandon any honor student who isn't actively making Shujin look better. Whoa, wait a sec. There was no name, and it sounded like just another rumor at first. But could this be about Yoshizawa-san? Who knows? Still, ever since the case with Kamoshida, the school's been frantically trying to improve its public image, right? At the very least, this abandonment of honor students would fall in line with the school's real mission. I can't deny the possibility that they would do this to Yoshizawa-san. They dump all their hopes onto their athletes, and if they don't cut the mustard, they're out like the rest of the trash, huh? Regardless of whether it's true or not, such behavior is extremely self-serving. <laughs> Just like we thought this whole time. There's still tons of shit wrong with society. Yeah, we don't know what'll happen to Yoshizawa's spot on the team. But at the very least, we can keep up our efforts to prevent the worst case scenario. Next up, our spotlights on a topic everyone's talking about, the Phantom Thieves incidents. The Phantom Thieves shocked the world by silencing a globally notorious hacktivist group. Their popularity goes beyond our own borders, with foreign media following them closely as well. Many are heralding them as dark heroes and gentlemen thieves for a new age. Whoa, this is getting pretty crazy. So the whole world really knows about us. Man, it's hot. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. Can I talk? <laughs> I never expected what happened to Futaba's mother would be connected to those incidents in the city. We can't leave this be. Though this scoundrel has the same power as us, they're triggering people's mental shutdowns. If they truly exist, who can stop them? Only us. This is getting interesting. We've got a new addition to the team, so it's time I flex my veteran skills. Going out for lunch, just the three of us. You don't have any plans, right? Just come on, it'll be my treat. Not only can Futaba go out now, but your summer break's almost over. We gotta do something. I asked especially for sushi. You better be thankful. This place is supposed to be super delicious, too. Sushi? Take me with you! I didn't get to eat the takeout sushi last time, remember? Man, that thing never stops meowing, does it? But at the restaurant? I do feel sorry for it, though. Well, 
I guess I don't mind bringing some sushi home. He knows me so well. Let's see. I want some medium fat tuna, fatty tuna, salmon roe, anago, and... and... Oh, are you going to be able to remember all this? You might want to take notes. So? How is it? Good? Mmm, delicious! Don't wolf it down like that. It, like, no one's gonna take your food. <coughs> what did I tell you? Drink some tea. <coughs> Restroom! Huh? Oh, oh restrooms. Uh, they're that way. <laughs> what a busy girl. Back in the day, she, her mother, and I used to go eat out often. This brings back memories. I had completely forgotten about it, too. That was close. I thought I was gonna die. Well, time to resume. You're still going to eat? Uh, I'm all full. I'm throwing in the towel. Which is it? I'm gonna use the restroom and then pay the bill. Uh, check, please. Coming right up! When I got into middle school, my mom and Sojiro took me out to eat sushi to celebrate. That sushi was so good. Today's was pretty good, too. I hope the three of us can come again sometime. When should we do this again? I wish she could have had today's sushi, too. <sighs> I want to find out what happened to Mom. I won't forgive the guy who triggered her mental shutdown. So, you better help me out. 120,000 yen? <laughs> You're joking, right? Looks like we won't be getting sushi to go. Welcome home! I've been waiting for you! Huh? Wait, where's my sushi? Where's my fatty tuna? Where's my Inago? So that's why. Wait, we're meeting in Akihabara? Is Futaba really going to be okay? We'd better get over there. All right. Is this where we're supposed to be meeting? Is she not here? Try checking around. Are you all by yourself? Where did you come from? Uh, I, uh, uh, hey, over there. Did you run away from home? What's wrong, little girl? Uh, uh, that looks bad. What are you gonna do? Yeah, hurry up! Uh, well, can you come down to the station with me for now? Huh? Uh, who are you? Uh, hey! Do you know this girl? You're not lying, are you? Very well. Utaba? Are you okay? S sorry. I thought I conquered my fears back at the beach. What happened? There wasn't anyone I knew with me, so I panicked. Felt like my heart was gonna pop. I got so scared all by myself. Then I just sort of curled up into a ball. Then all these people started staring at me, and the police came, and then it was all over. Look, Futaba, if you're ever in trouble, just call this guy. Okay. Hmm. 
I feel kind of calm when we're this close. You're okay being like this, right? Maybe. <sighs> Couldn't even go by a game by myself. I'm a failure. Futaba. But I'm okay outside as long as it's with him. Is he some kind of key item? Please, be my key item. I'll try and get better at navigation if you do. For reals? <laughs> then it's a deal! We were impressed with the intel gathering skills of the Phantom Thieves as well. We also know that this would have been impossible unless you had a skilled hacker. Who was doing this? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Hermit Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. All right! Now that that's over with, let's go! Where? Need, bye, game! Weren't you bawling your eyes out just a second ago? Yeah, but I have my key item now. <laughs> Victory conditions met. Come on, let's roll! Welcome home. Where were you two? Akihabara. What? <laughs> That's incredible, Futaba. I... I guess. Oh. I just hope you can keep that up. Maybe you'll even be able to go to high school someday. Yeah. Well, that's enough of that. Oh, I bet you're exhausted after dealing with all those people, huh? Let's get you to bed. Hey, we're gonna head back. Listen up, inmate. Our master wants a word with you. <laughs> it seems you formed a contract with another new ally. This is the owner of quite a different type of power. It will help guide you all to further heights as thieves. <laughs> Worry not. You are steadily approaching the realization of your goal. This is not necessarily to prove so. 
but I shall increase the number of personas you can hold at once. From here on, your tale will make great progress. Hone your powers even further, and prepare for the time that will soon come. I expect great things from you. All right. Until we meet again. It is time, inmate. Return to your world. Morning. Ooh, a uniform. Make sure you study hard. <laughs> Utaba says she's going to shift to living a morning person's life. A healthy mission starts with a healthy lifestyle. Mission? And on to breaking news. In regard to the so-called Phantom Thieves events that have been a hot topic among the general public, the Prime Minister held a press conference at his official residence to address the problem. The government acknowledges the current rumors of a group called the Phantom Thieves. We are currently confirming facts with the police and wish to deal with it in an appropriate... Even the Prime Minister's talking about the Phantom Thieves? They're allies of justice, after all. They change hearts, huh? I wonder if it's true. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we're finally being recognized across the country. Even though you have ambitions, you remain cool, hmm? I bet you stole that from me. Let's find clues on that case as soon as we can, too. And resolve it ourselves. For Futaba's sake, too. You two really get along, don't you? You're gonna be late if you don't get going soon. Good luck on your student duties! group with the most belief in the Phantom Thieves seems to be teenagers. We've even received messages about how the Phantom Thieves are all students talk about these days. Do you know about them? They're the only thing my daughter speaks to me about. She's been glued to this fan site thing. I thought it was just an ordinary website. Lately, they've added a polling feature to ask who you'd like to see have a change of heart. Given people's heightened expectations, it's been receiving a lot of votes. Huh. Maybe I should go vote for our company president. Change his heart so he'll raise our salaries. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, it's all over. this every year, but isn't summer vacation too short? It's like it always ends right when you get used to a life without school. Then again, I guess we had some fun things this year. <clears throat> All right, let's begin, homeroom. Let's see. We've just gotten back from vacation, but starting next Monday is the school trip. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, you students are so lucky. You get an entire month off for summer and get to go to Hawaii, too. Make sure that none of you cut loose too much, okay? Okay, settle down. That concludes homeroom. School trip, huh? I guess we won't be able to act as phantom thi- <laughs> Takamiki-san! You can speak English, right? Basically, yeah. That's amazing. 
I lived over there, so it's nothing that special. Hey, if there's something we're not sure of in English, can we ask you about it? Huh? There you guys are. Futaba! Did you come here by yourself? I went to get her since I got out of school early. What a patronizing Inari. Well then, let's get talking. What do we do now? Should we go after another big target? That's important too, but what about that villain in the cognitive world? It's almost certain that this person exists. What's more, they're inducing mental shutdowns. We certainly can't turn a blind eye. <sighs> yeah, but we don't got any clues. But, you know how we're Toad's popular right now? Everyone at school's talking about us. And not a day goes by when you don't hear about it on TV either. We totally made it big, don't you think? True. The rankings on the Phantom Aficionado website have been crazy, too. You mean this? Huh? What the hell? First place keeps changing by the second. People are voting around the clock, after all. If we go after these guys, I'm sure we'll score some big cash at least once. What would you use money like that for? Acting all stoic like that ain't cool, you know. Are you fine with that, Futaba? Even though it's related to what happened to your mother. It's not okay. I'm definitely gonna punch that guy. The culprit forcing mental shutdowns. If you think about it, there's no bigger target than that. If we can change his heart and get a confession out of him, we'll be on top of the world for real. Should we reveal our identities then? Oh, I bet chicks are gonna be all over us. Whoa, whoa. You want us to show our faces? I guess that might be okay. I see. If the true culprit confesses the existence of the Metaverse will become known, there would be no need for us to remain in hiding in such a questionable manner. Hey, we're not doing this to stand out, you know. Being unknown is the allure of being a phantom thief. But considering the hype now, it's gonna be one hell of a huge deal if we pull it off. Are there really no clues regarding those mental shutdown cases? If I remember right, wasn't the older Nijima sister investigating it? Yes. I can pry and ask about it. But she'll just tell me to mind my own business and get angry with me. If you can't ask her, wanna just extract that data? Does she have a personal laptop or something? Don't tell me. I can lend you a storage device with my special gimmick on it. Just stick this baby in and it'll clone the internal hard drive. It'll even bypass the OS password. You'll have to plug it directly into her laptop, though. Can you do it? Sis does bring her laptop home sometimes. But I'm not comfortable going that far. Ooh, is Futaba gonna do something amazing again? Are you scared of seeing how your sister truly feels? No! Of course not. Fine, I'll do it. What? I was in a tabloid magazine? But I gave a gag order in regard to Mr. Kamashita's case. Please, wait! Please give me some time! I will find evidence on the Phantom Thieves for sure! I couldn't have made it this far had it not been for your assistance, sir. So, please, please let me... No! No!
Let's leave this to Makoto. I'm sure she'll be able to pull it off. Hey, hey! Hey! gonna come to our school again cover up by faculty and principal of Shujin Academy where the Phantom Thieves first appeared it's been a huge deal already I wonder what's gonna happen to the principal now anyways we made the right choice going after big targets everywhere I go people are talking about us whoa uh, I'm sorry oh no I'm fine girl just now don't you think she was fine the phantom thieves are on fire right now so I wonder if I got a chance if I asked her out it sucks that I can't just say I'm actually a phantom thief to anybody did you do it too, teach the whole cover-up thing this is the first time I'm hearing about it too even if the police ask you anything, you better not make irresponsible comments to them. Seriously, why does this keep happening? All my relatives are gonna call me again. Oh, perfect timing. I think you might have been told this already, but it's about the school trip. You know how the police have been coming to the school again because of that incident? So, a number of the senior faculty are going to be called in for questioning, and that day just happens to overlap with the school trip. Yes, I've been told so. Now, this came up at the faculty meeting, but the plan is to have third years to act as our proxies. I'm so sorry to drop this on you, Nijima-san, but we'll be counting on you. What? You know, a lot of the second years this year happen to be unique. You must have your hands full with the entrance exams, but I'm sure you'll be fine with your grades. Don't worry, there'll be a couple more people going besides you. If that's the case, very well. Really? Oh, thank goodness. I'll go ahead and pass this news on then. I guess that works out. Listen this time, okay? Are you listening? Pay attention!
Looks like you're busy. I'm listing up the evidence that's been taken into storage. It's a chore that any part-timer could do. I don't have time to waste on something like this. It felt like my irritation would show on my face at the office, so I brought it home. Sorry to hear. The Phantom Thief's case isn't so easy that I could pursue it in my spare time. The media keeps making a ruckus about it, so people have been wary whenever we make inquiries. Why I couldn't get anything out of a man who seemed to have intel. I even tried threatening him. All I did was question him a bit harshly. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll be going on a school trip starting next week. The senior faculty are being questioned, so I'll be going in their stead. Sounds good to me. The school will owe you for it. It won't get in the way of your entrance exams, will it? Not at all. Feel free to take a bath first. I need to study. Okay, I think I'll do that. <sighs> I should do it, right? Oh, Makoto? Yes? I want to change my toothbrush. I bought a new one already! It's on the shelf! Thanks. Hurry! Looks like it went well. I wonder what we'll find. Oh, before that... Here you go. I think I did it right. <laughs> Leave it to me. Whoa, you grabbed all these? Are they for Hawaii? If we're gonna lay low, we might as well enjoy it. Oh, look at this one! Gigantic sea turtle sightseeing on some beach. Come on, food's more important than some turtle. You really don't find steak this big and thick in Japan. Also, mahi mahi? Is that some kind of fish? Think it's good? It seems that it's the season for schools all around. We're going on our school trip as well. Yeah? Where are you guys going? I believe it's Los Angeles. <laughs> that doesn't suit you at all, Yusuke. I bet you wanted to go somewhere like Nikko or Nara. Anywhere is acceptable. After all, the mineral pigments used for Japanese art were originally imported. Hawaii and Los Angeles, huh? Which would you want to go to? But Los Angeles is hard to give up too. I mean... Don't I seem like an L.A. guy? Like a total gangsta? That makes no sense at all. Hawaii is more of a resort place than L.A., so I'd rather go there. So we won't be seeing each other for a while. We'll make sure to buy a souvenir for you. Ooh, here comes some interesting data. This is just from a quick glance. But it says perpetrated and connected. It means that mental shutdowns aren't coincidence. That this is a case with a culprit behind it. Actually, it's not just about people having shutdowns. It looks like she's inferring that the psychotic breakdown incidents are connected to the same case. Go 
Oh, Makoto Sis! How long do you think it'll take to analyze all of it? Hmm. There's a lot, so it's not happening overnight. But I'll manage by the time you guys get back. I demand souvenirs from Hawaii and LA for my reward. I don't really get all this, but you're as amazing as always, Futaba. I guess it's called an information war? Oh, it's so high-tech and modern. Kind of reminds me of a movie. We're the Phantom Thieves, so it's not that big a deal. I mean, I can turn into a car and stuff, too. Come on, don't try and compete with her. What did you say? You're fine the way you are, Morgana. Like, you're cheeky cute? Cute? Lydion, I... Well, we'll continue this when we get back from the trip. I can't wait to see how much the Phantom Thieves' popularity is increased by then.